good stuff, Maynard. crazy windy down here right now I thought I would take this time to just talk a little bit about Missouri and what we got going here we um you know I started coming down to Missouri quite a few years ago met a gentleman up at the store there the gas station and he was super nice guy and allowed us to come and stay in his garage and it's nice coming down here you know you come down you got a chance to shoot a really big buck we've seen some huge ones we've shot some really good deer down here um, I'm excited this year because I got my brother down here with me which my brother's never been hunting out of the state of Michigan and then I got my son-in-law with me too and so I'm really hoping that I get to shoot a big deer <laughs> actually I would I'd like to see one of them get one you know both of them would be great if one of them gets a really nice one that would be really cool but yeah right yeah. I got my night vision. Let's see, do I even need it? Oh, we do it like that. How's that? I'll um, um, just shoot the ticket. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. A couple of knobbers right there, but they don't count for nothing. Yeah, she said 11 point? 11. That's Two, a Duke, man. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, that's why you come to Missouri right there. I never seen a buck this big. Yeah. Dude, I'm looking at him right now. It's like the first time I'm getting a full like front view of him. He's tall. Well, he's got great mass. You're, you're 16 inches. And he's four inches on each side of him. Yeah, he's out there for sure. He's got good mass. Did you, was he was he uh, chasing that doe or was yeah. he, he was grunting out? Yeah, he was chasing that doe. Was he? Yep. Good deal. And and he did run. He run a couple times back in here, but I thought when she come out, I thought that was her. Okay. Gotcha. And then, heck, his G3s are just as long as his G2s. Yeah, he's a nice one. Got the little double crab claw, claw going. And yep. Yeah, good deal, man. All right, give us Thank a you. thumbs up, man. Thank you, Bri. You're welcome, buddy. That's a nice deer, man. Thanks, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. I'm gonna get him inside there. Just push his ass in in there. Yep, and then grab that and push him. Yep, there you go. Dear God. 
chance that they send one my way. But to be honest with you, my trip is complete. Seeing my older brother kill a deer like that. That's what it's all about. a deer this morning. It's about 8.30. Gonna hang out for a little bit longer, but uh, I don't see any deer today. I think it's gonna be time to put the decoy away for a little bit, a few days, and get mobile and go after him. Alright, stay tuned. It's about time to start getting after them. Instead of waiting for them to come to me, I'm going to go to them. So That's what I'm good at anyway. Alright. November 6th in the evening. Like I said earlier this morning, I was going to make a move. And I've actually changed tactics 100%. I got this pond behind me. And there's a bunch of tracks going down to it. Obviously it's warm. I'm sitting here. It's over 60 degrees right now something that I do down in here that I think a lot of people forget about is their bow rope. Uh, a lot of keep, people leave it up in the tree with them and that's fine but this time of year if I do see a deer up on the field edge I can call to it and the deer aren't dumb they'll look down in here and there's leaves everywhere. If they can't hear a deer or see a deer then they don't come in here. So what I do is I take my bow rope and I tie my light to it like this. That's about the perfect size for a hoof. And I put it like this so it hangs. And if I call the one, what I'll do is I'll pick that up about six, eight inches off the ground and I'll just drop it and go thunk, just like a, a deer stomping its foot. And that's worked for me many, many times over the years. Um, I've never seen anybody else do it. Something I picked up on years ago of, of just trying to make a noise. And once I if I stomp it down, you know, like a, like a foot stomp, I may take it and just slide it a foot or so. And it just makes a little bit of noise in here. And it's amazing, them deer, they'll come right to it. They will come right to it. So I got it down there now. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Sound like a foot stomp? But it makes just enough noise on the ground and it'll draw deer in. So we'll see. Maybe I'll be able to use that tactic tonight or not. All right. November 7th in the morning. I haven't seen a deer yet. Wind's starting to pick up. My brother has seen some. Son-in-law has seen some. I have seen none. Zero zilch nada. This is the this is the first time that I've come down to Missouri and. 10, 12 years that I haven't at least had a deer close enough to me that I could have shot. I haven't had a doe close to me. I haven't had a fawn close to me. Nothing. I know some years you can just do everything right. Doesn't matter what you do, it's right. Other years, doesn't matter what you do, it's wrong. All right, and so totally switched gears tonight. All I got with me is the GoPro. Coming down in this little patch of woods here. Trying to move real slow up to this edge. There's some good runways in here. Still no rubs. And no uh, no scrapes yet. But usually right up here about another 100 yards is where I start running into them. So I'm going to ease my way up in here nice and slow. Kind of windy. Uh, to cover my noise, my sound. And, and uh, I'm going to get up here a little bit on the left of this little ditch. Looks like they've been coming down this ditch pretty good but I know up there on the other side of it they go around so I'm gonna ease my way on up there and see what I can do for the evening November 7th that night I'm trying to get it done here I'm staying after them 
hunting hard, not missing a hunt. So hopefully the deer gods shine upon me. Well, all right, made it out here in my saddle. Um, the bad thing is I don't have my camera with me. I got my GoPro, but there's no place to hang it. There's nothing I could do. I could put it on my bow limb, but I'm afraid that'll throw my shot off. So I don't want to do that. So there's going to be no footage this evening. If I get one, I'll take you along for the track job. Um, but there's just no way I can film tonight. I just got no place to put this thing, nothing to do with it. So, <sighs> Wish me luck. I wish I could bring you the hunt, but just not conducive right now. But as I always say, I'm a hunter first. And this is what I feel I need to do to get be successful down here. So we're in. We're going to give it a shot. All right, so last morning, those guys are out hunting. I'm going to get everything packed up, ready to go. Got to shoot me an eight point. Um, realized I never took a picture with myself with that eight point. We just, I don't know, got back, skinned him out and, and uh, cut him up, come in, cooked up some back straps, had a few victory sodas, and uh, that was that. So, um, but yeah, so we got two bucks down here out of the three of us. They're out hunting right now, so maybe we get one more before we go. Saw a lot of different game. Muskrats, turkeys, quail, deer, skunk, possum, ducks. Seen a lot of different stuff going on, so. But I'm going to start getting this stuff packed up, get back to Michigan.